Behind me is a map of the area that we're talking about. Today's overdose death happened at a motel off of Folsom Boulevard. So you see downtown Sacramento on the left hand side of your screen. And then if you go into this particular area, Rosemount La Riviera, this is the area that we're talking about right before you get to Rancho Cordova. And detectives saying all the ODs occurred within that two mile area, leading them to believe that the drug which was co cocaine was possibly containing fentanyl and did come from the same person or the same group of people. The East Sacramento drug overdose crisis continues. This morning, sheriff's deputies and fire crews responding to Vince's motel along Folsom Boulevard. The victim did not survive. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Office says this is now the eighth drug overdose in this particular area in the past week. Five of those that OD'd died. Investigators relying on those that survived to get to the bottom of what's going on. From what we're understanding, these overdoses all stemmed from what the users thought was cocaine. Today's death at the motel is the first time this particular business has been tied to the ongoing situation. However, deputies say all of the other overdoses occurred within a two mile radius of this general area. The sheriff's office suspects the cocaine was created in large batches and because of the deaths, fentanyl is likely the culprit. These dealers are concerned about one thing and it's profits. They don't care about your safety and these are not UC Berkeley lab trained chemists that are mixing these substances. These are guys uh, mixing it in their bedrooms, in their garages and you know it's this much will get you high and that much will kill you. You really can't tell. The sheriff's office getting the word out about what's going on in part because more people could potentially fall victim. We've got folks out there investigating. Our ultimate goal is to find out where it's coming from. And while deputies look for the person or group responsible, you will remember that back in October, Placer County became the first county in the state to hand down a murder sentence related to a fentanyl death.